Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you a haul of some things that Eric and I have recently gotten listed on eBay. Most of these items have come from auction, some from yard sales. So let's just get straight into it because I have a lot of stuff to show. This first item did come from an auction. This is a Jerry Garcia plush doll. Um, these can sell pretty decently, especially if they still have their guitar and his glasses. So this is by Liquid Blue, and I think it was made for Gund. Made by Gund for Liquid Blue. We won Jerry for $25 at the auction. He also came with an ALF doll, which I haven't listed yet, uh, but he did come with that for the $25 price. And I listed him as a buy it now for $59.99. Same auction, we also won this vintage Ewok plush. It was still on its original packaging. So this is from... 1984 so it's star wars return of the jedi um cute little ewok still has his little card and everything um there is some signatures on the back of the box i don't know it seems like maybe a classroom gave this to their teacher at one point as a gift maybe they were a big star wars fan um but still in the original packaging, which is obviously hard to find. Um, we did pay $12 for this plush, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $149.99. The other one that's listed with the box still, their box is in much worse condition, um, but these do sell well if they are still on their packaging. This little toothpick holder at a churchyard sale. So I'm pretty sure it's for toothpicks, but obviously you can just use it as like a little decorative piece. It's a cat coming out of an old boot. It's by the Lego brand, and I paid a quarter for this at the yard sale, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. Also won this beautiful purple hobnail glass decanter bottle at the auction. This is by a company called Duncan Miller. So it's purple hobnail. I think they call this a cologne bottle. So, you know, to use for like perfume and stuff like that. But obviously you could use it for anything. Really gorgeous. I paid $5 for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. Next item also came from the auction. I don't know what this was originally. I'm assuming it was for like doll babies. It's a painted old wooden um, rabbit, like rocking, rocking horse kind of thing, but it's a rabbit. I don't know who it was made by or anything like that, but I was just drawn to it. I love the coloring, the fact that Easter was coming up and it was a rabbit. Um, so I don't know. I just decided, <laughs> I just decided to take it. I told Eric if the bid was less than $5 to just bid on it and he won it for $3. And I put it up on auction with a starting price of $29.99, so we'll see. I thought it would be a cute, like, sit-around piece for Easter. I saw this vase in one of my other hauls when I actually purchased this. I was going to put it in a whatnot glass show, and I still might, but until I do that, until I do another whatnot glass show, I figured I'd list it, and then if it sells before then, that's great. One last thing in my inventory, but um, it was just this case glass swung type of vase um looks like a watermelon i call it the watermelon vase i paid five dollars for this at a yard sale and i listed it as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents i have a bunch of pottery mugs that i listed um these all came on a flat of pottery mugs that i won at an auction some of them i can make out the makers and other ones i can't so this one here is by Cunningham Pottery. I could read, I could read this one. Um, this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I have a Jim Shore um, piece here. I did open it so you could see what it looks like. Um, this is of a kitty cat. This is named Tilly. So that must be the cat's name. So it's just a really cute, like, whimsical-looking cat with a birdhouse. She still has her tag attached 
and still in her original box. Um, she originally came from, I believe, a yard sale. She originally came from a yard sale. We paid $4 for her, and I have her listed as a buy it now for $25.99. This next item did already sell. This was for a vintage Disney book. Um, this came from an auction. I had won like a couple like vintage children's books and that sold as a buy it now for $49.99. Um, this one here I believe was a second printing. They made tons of printing of these. I just saw another one at an auction I was at the other day and I think it was like the 35th printing. So obviously, the first and you know the the lower the lower the number the better type of thing as far as the printings go and this one was a good one because it was the second printing and it still had its dust cover as well um next item i'm just gonna pop up because it's big eric won two of these nylant um tanker trucks uh these were coca-cola tanker trucks he won these at the auction he paid between the two, $170, and he listed them um, together as a buy it now for $359.99. Got this really cool, like, cased glass grape bottle. I don't know if this is a decanter or a vase. Um, to me, it doesn't seem like there would have been a topper to it, but who knows? Maybe it was. Um, but this is how I found it at the auction. I don't know who made it, but I just thought it was really cool looking um, cased glass. So I won this for $4 and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Also won this glass piece at the auction. This is from the Henry Ford Museum. Um, just a really pretty, I love the color of this glass pitcher. And I won this for $5, and I listed this on auction as well with a starting price of $39.99. Someone else has one listed kind of high in a different color, so I didn't really know, you know, what it's worth, basically. But I got it at a cheap enough price. Um, I have six of these Pepsi Cola drinking glasses, and they have like a stained glass look to them. Um... Eric got these at the auction. He didn't pay anything for them. Um, sometimes at the auction, at this one particular auction, like if someone's just bidding on like, they want like a tray or a flat and they only want like one thing out of it, sometimes they'll pass the remaining stuff around. Like, so if anyone wants anything from it, they can just take it. Otherwise it just gets thrown in the trash can. So um, the lady was gonna throw these away and Eric was like, oh, I'll take those. So he took them, didn't pay anything for them. I listed them all together, the six, um, as a buy it now for $24.99. Can't go wrong with free. <laughs> On this train lamp at the auction, this thing is really heavy. Um, this part is all glass and then the bottom part is brass. Um, this still has its original box. We paid $25 for this lamp, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $99.99. Recently won this vase at the auction. This looks to be hand-painted. To me, it looks like Nippon, but there is no maker's mark on the bottom, so I don't know if it got, you know, wiped off or maybe it's not. I am not sure, but I thought it was just a really beautiful piece. And I was like, I told Eric again, like if it's like $5 or less, just bid on it. So he won it for $2 and I put it up on auction with a starting price of $39 and 99 cents. Um, this also came from the auction. This is, um, by Cody. It is an emerald, emerald, dusting powder perfume dusting powder this is still sealed um this came on a tray of some stuff i think um he paid eleven dollars for it and i listed it as a buy it now for forty one dollars our next item came from an auction this was a copper wall hanging of these three bats these are so stinking cool we were debating on keeping them but we decided to list them 
Eric paid $14.63 for it at an auction. It came with some other stuff, so I like averaged out each piece. Um, and we listed that on auction with a starting price of $99.99. This next item is so stinking cool. I love this piece. So this is a miniature glass by Westmoreland Punch Bowl. And it comes with the tiniest little um mugs so these are a green carnival glass with like an opalescent top absolutely gorgeous there are three four five six mugs that come come with this little miniature um punch bowl i think this is so adorable uh, we did pay fifty dollars for this and i put it up on auction with a starting price of ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents I also won this Westmoreland piece at the auction. This is a glass lidded candy dish with these pretty um, cranberry colored, they call this the swirl ball. Swirl ball is what they call this design. And this is Westmoreland. I paid $5 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Got a lot of nice glass pieces. This here is an Indiana glass, uh, carnival glass swung vase. They call this, um, the color is called Sunset. It's really, really pretty. It does glow a little bit as well under black light, especially like around the rim here. So really pretty coloring. I love this one. I'm not usually very fond of carnival glass myself, but the coloring on this one is just striking. I love it paid $21 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $54.99. I have another studio pottery mug. Tiffany, if there's a Tiffany out here, I have your mug. This is a really nicely made studio pottery mug. It is signed. I cannot make out who signed it. Um, no idea, but it's a really nice mug and it has your name on it. So just saying, <laughs> um, I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. I have this Easter basket full of alabaster eggs. So these are like heavy stone eggs, all different colors. Most of them are large. There is a small one in here. Um, but yeah, all different colors. We got this at a yard sale and we paid $7 for the whole basket with all the eggs. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $49.99. So I thought these would be perfect for Easter and I'm just including the basket as well. So it already <laughs> has a place to display them in. Item came from the auction. This is by a company called Olive Art. Um, it was, let me see, it's made in Spain. So it's this nice wooden kind of like hors d'oeuvre set. Um, these are salt and pepper shakers. And then there are these little hors d'oeuvre picks or little forks in the middle. I thought that was cute. Really nicely made out of like wood. Um, paid... I don't have down what I paid for this, but I know it wasn't much. It was probably a dollar in all honesty. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I got this vintage Napco baby planter at a yard sale. Um, I don't pick these up like super often, but I'm usually just drawn to them. And I had never seen a hot air balloon one. I thought this was really cute and I'm just a sucker for pastel colorings as well. <laughs> so I just grabbed it. Um, I know I had purchased a couple things and my bill was $5 at the yard sale. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $14.99. I also have this Hallmark Philadelphia Eagles ornament. It looks like a little chipmunk on top of a football. This came from an auction, and I listed this as a buy it now for $9.99. It just came with some Christmas stuff I won. I have this blue um, opalescent glass bowl. This is Jefferson glass. Really pretty. This came from an auction. I paid $6 for it, and I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. 
vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Christmas stocking. And this also came from an auction. I have this listed as a buy it now for $38.99. This here is a Tonala vase. This also came from an auction. It is signed on the bottom. Paid $2 for the vase and I have it listed for $12.99. I recently won this at the auction. This is a super heavy glass bowl. Um, I tried figuring out who this is made by because there is no signatures on it whatsoever. It's really well made, very extremely heavy, um, but I just, I don't know who made it. There are some scratches on the bottom. Um, no chips or cracks, just a couple little, like, marks on it. I paid $6 for it. I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99, so it could be well worth more than that, but I just don't know. I listed these pair of shoes. These are by Euro Wellness. They are brand new. These are so beautiful. Unfortunately, not my size, but they are so pretty. This beautiful baby blue, kind of like metallic-y looking, absolutely gorgeous. These are a size eight. Like I said, they're brand new. I listed these as a buy it now for $69.99. They did come from an auction. The same auction I had won a bunch of Birkenstock sandals at. I have sold a lot of my Birkenstocks. I only have a couple pairs left. Um, and they are all brand new. These ones are new. They are white with ruffles. Really, really cute. These are also a size 8. Um, I did already sell these, <laughs> but they were returned to me. Um, someone said that they just didn't fit them, so, um, I just relisted them the other day. Uh, but I did have these listed as a buy it now for $69.99. I listed this goblet i got this at a churchyard sale this is really cool looking um it's by pacific giftware and i got this at a churchyard sale i think i paid 50 cents for it i listed it as a buy it now for 19 dollars and 99 cents also listed this vintage he-man um this is a zipper pool so you'd put this on like your jacket hanging off your zipper um so this is older um I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99 as well. This belongs to my aunt. So if it sells, we split um, costs. I have five of these little blue Hazel Atlas fish glasses. These are so stinking cute. I actually have a set of these with a pitcher and I think they're larger glasses. They have not sold yet. But I did list these as the lot for a buy it now of $49.99. I have this Barbie, Forever Barbie. It's a postcard book. So it's got all these really cool images of Barbie through, through the years. And they are postcards. So they haven't ever been torn out or used. So they're all there. I listed this. As I buy it now for $15.99. I have a few more pottery mugs. These are all listed as buy it nows, I believe for $19.99. Um, the first one is this guy here. So kind of like a very neutral coloring. Um, this is signed little on the bottom. So $19.99. I also have this red one. And this one is also signed, but I can't make out who made it. <laughs> $19.99, buy it now. Um, this one is really cute. It has like a stenciled looking pineapple on it. And this also has a signature that I can't make out. Um, listed for $19.99. And then I have this really pretty blue one. And this one's actually by Groundhog Blues Pottery. So I could make out that one. And I'm pretty sure this one's $19.99. It could be a little bit cheaper. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and then completely randomly, and I'm probably going to be selling one of these, but we won these two 
blue pottery. These are business card holders. One is signed, the other one is not, but they're really nicely made um, pottery business card holders. I'm probably gonna keep this one because I like the coloring on it better. But Eric and I are still, you know, our plan is to get an antique booth sometime here soon. I want to get business cards made. I want to figure out like a name that we could kind of call our booth. So like I could make an Instagram page when we, you know, rearrange it and stuff like that just to like keep people in the loop. Um, but thinking of a name is really, really hard. So yeah, I want to think of a name and then get like business cards made up. And depending, I was thinking of like rebranding everything, like changing my eBay name to whatever we decide to name, you know, our antique booth and potentially even changing my YouTube name. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> these are all just like random thoughts that go through my head, but I wanted I wanted to win one of these at the auction because I do, if we have an antique booth, I want to get business cards made. So if anyone has ideas for a business name we can use, I'd love to hear them. Um, I just like, I don't know. Like the more I think about it, I think it, the harder it is for something to like naturally come to me. So I'm trying not to think of it, about it too much. And then just hope that something just like pops in my head and it's like, yeah, that's the one. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.